She killed him. But... Oh my god! Doc! Oh my god. Say something! Chromium. Lithium. Potassium. Iridium. He's Dark. dying. But I, mean, I know he's alternate I'll get, I'll get help. This is crazy! Newspaper. What? Newspaper. You mean... I'm gonna get you to a hospital, Doc. You're gonna be okay. Yes. Oh. I think I am going to be okay, Marty. No, come on, Doc. Doc, don't do this. Don't go. Um, I guess that's the end of the Doc. Doc. That Doc. Come back. Sorry, Marty. Doc? <laughs> Emmett, look at his hair. Marty, have you been out here the whole time? Emmett, um, is it over already? Oh, it's over, all right. You missed a very <laughs> wild party. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. It's all right. Oh, what was I thinking? Uh, it's a bit of a disappointing guy. Naturally, the failed. ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is going to play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. Damn, man. need a much more advanced control system. If we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational it, field into electrokinetic force, one might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! But your your demo failed, though. And you're you're not discouraged? Discouraged? By what? You mean what happened in there? Oh, that was a learning experience. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... Uh, I'm sorry, is, is something wrong? Yeah. It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh, I lost somebody. Uh. Oh, how sad. Anyone I know? No, uh, nobody here knew him. He was a complete stranger to this world. I know the feeling. Sounds like a man after my own heart. <laughs> More then than it enough. is someone I know. Yeah, no, uh, forget it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here. But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Yeah. Uh, please, Emmett, don't ask any- What's this? Oh, no. Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. <sighs> we can't tell him. You wouldn't understand. Oh, yeah? Try me. What's that? An explanation. But you've got to promise me, don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? Emmett! Just promise. Emmett, where are you, my son? I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to uh, something. Just, just say you promise. Okay, I promise. But... 
We'll see if he keeps his promise. <laughs> Wait. I will see you again, right? I guarantee it. Thank you, Emmett. He got my message. Wow. So, you were the same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. He kept his word. He didn't read I it. I remember you being much taller. Wow. It's great to see. It's actually great to see Doc. How was the ceremony? Long. <laughs> You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. <laughs> he got my message. The only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever, but what are you doing in 1931? <sighs> came to rescue you. I came to restore your path. I don't like that. I came to stop you from marrying Edna. I came to restore your path. I came to make sure you stayed in the path of science. As opposed to what? The dog food business? <laughs> Politics. <laughs> Politics? That doesn't sound like me. It wasn't. Never mind, it's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies. Me? Nah, no. Well, yeah. I'm Edna still a little confused about my... Oh, by the way... Where is he? Where is that no-good son of mine? Hey. He's not worthy of the McFly name. Hey, is you that... You see my already anywhere? Artie oh my god, McFly? that's Michael J. Fox! That's the one. Just got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? That's Michael J. Hitch? Fox's voice! Married! Oh, that is that's so weird. cool! That boy's gonna put his pop on the nose. They, they're saying that he's uh, Artie's father. So that's Artie's how she got father. her job back. That's the role he's playing. Ah, he, he's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was great Grandpa Willie. <laughs> I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. <laughs> Just Holy crap, go uh, Doc, it. I'm gonna disappear again. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of that car. Oh God! More oh, problems. I can't believe they How added the hell Michael did J. She Fox get in back the game. Here. That's cool. She? You? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, yeah. it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me. Did I or did I not just chase Ed the Strickland off in this car? Oh my God. Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Oh my God. Well, Wait, Ed the Strickland oh just my disappeared God. in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it, it made a loud noise. Oh my and God, then Edna just time nothing. traveled. Great Scott. Jesus. Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. <laughs> Look at oh, Parker. He's confused. This is bad. This is this very is... bad. Oh Let's my just God. hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... You think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the oh time stream. Oh my God. Uh, guys, you mind telling me what the hell you're... Uh-oh. Oh my god, what? 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 Oh my god. Doc? What? The hell? Did we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. 
How? This game is Something insane. Something must have happened to it a long time ago. Edna, what did she do? Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, it's uh, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. Look, maybe you can help us. Oh my god. This is crazy, guys. Where's Hill Valley? That's what he says. We're looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it? A hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. <laughs> hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it, though. Just oh. as I suspected. <laughs> we destroyed everything. I know. What did you do? When did Hill Valley go away? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Oh my god. And whatever it was, it must have happened at least 45 years ago. I'm surprised Nobody Doc much and... cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Say, if there's anybody who can tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Yeah, you Sorry, think? fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. Oh, my God. Oh, we need to save the game. We've been recording for a long ass time. Why wouldn't she talk to us? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. This is ridiculous. Yeah, no, be chicken I, I, I mean, we just can't make things right. We just can't get things right. Yeah, I feel the same way. Jesus. Can I drive? This is ridiculous. Ridiculous! <laughs> Hill Valley disappeared from under our feet. I'm shocked that Marty and Doc didn't disappear. I'm, are you kidding me, right? Beware of cat. Wipe your feet. No trespassing. Mary Pickford. Mary Pickford. Hmm. Oh my god, no way. No way. This is... There's an old DeLorean there. Is this... It's gotta be Edna. Oh my god. What the hell did she do? Well, guys. I just have to take a breath before I end this episode. Not this episode, this part of the episode. I am sure we're close to the end. I, I am stunned by what's happened. I've been recording about an hour straight, and this game is crazy. That is all the time we have. In our next part, we will hopefully find out what happened to Hill Valley. Obviously, Edna has just destroyed everything. I don't know. But this game is absolutely amazing. I love it. See you guys next time for more Back to the Future, the game. Thank you so much. Later.